Arms Race is Borderlands 3's newest game mode in which you are thrown into an open area where it's your job to secure loot, extract it and make it out alive without being swallowed whole by the treacherous murder cane. In this guide we'll go over what it is, what you must do and also give out some overall pointers and tips in order to help you survive. Firstly, before you jump in, make sure your mayhem level is set to whichever level you want your gear to be extracted out at. For me, that's mayhem 10 or mayhem Mayhem 11. Now, let's talk Murder Cane. This is the huge circle you can see on your map surrounding the playable area, and every 4 minutes this circle will shrink, limiting the playable area on the map. If you are caught inside of the murder cane, your vision will be greatly reduced and you'll start taking damage. So if in solo, I'd advise you to pause the game by opening your map up at the start and then planning out your initial route. I'd also suggest that you start at the outer edge of the circle and then work your way in, since of course it's going to be shrinking and not expanding. As you approach your first destination, avoid picking fights you can't take, and loot as many chests as you can so that when you finally reach your destination, you'll be able to fight off whatever is there. Speaking of destinations, your one should always be the one with a chest symbol over it. These symbolize loot caches which will hold the majority of the loot you actually want to grab and extract within Arms Race. They basically serve as a multi-stage fend-off round against various enemies starting off small and then gradually ending with usually badasses. Once all enemies are dead, the loot is yours for the taking, so take it. All of it. In this game mode you may find yourself under geared which is why having that loot to sell will really help you out to buy new items from vendors around the map should you be given a bad set of loot on your run. Also on the subject of gear you may find yourself in game when suddenly you see this pop up. This is the game's way of saying that free loot is coming your way, so head to the supply drop symbol on your map, presuming it's safe to do so, and kill the enemies in the area before claiming your loot. So now that we've acquired a healthy amount of hopefully good new gear, we're going to need somewhere to take it. So for this, we'll be using the extraction points located randomly around the map. When it's safe to do so and you've got all the gear you need, head to it and place in the gear you want to send to your bank. Just remember that once a slot is used, it's lost at that machine. So if a machine has only three slots in it, pick the three best pieces of gear you want to keep, because if you die and that loot is not extracted, it's gone forever. Also, remember that the extractor is instanced, so if you have an extractor with three slots, each person on your team can extract three pieces of gear each. Now for all of you co-op players watching, apart from taking into account the points already provided, be sure to take note of the respawn stations lying around the map as you'll need to use them if your teammates die. And now, just before we get to the boss, there is one more little thing that you may want to be wary of before dropping into the arms race. Occasionally when playing, you may see a purple glow appear around your screen, indicating an ambush by some very tough enemies. These dudes are called Revenants and they will chase you relentlessly even into the boss arena, so make sure you find a way to kill them and do it quick. Killing them will also give you a high chance of getting legendaries, so if you're in co-op definitely set your sights on them as soon as they appear, but even if you're in solo make sure you take them out. So. You've got some gear and you've extracted some loot, but now the circle has reached its final size, or maybe you've looted all of the caches available to you and there's no supply drops coming down. So it's time to take out the Harker himself and get the hell out of here. Head into the middle of the map where the final boss arena is, which if you're new to this mode, which I'm of course sure that you are, you're going to see some checkered walls in red and white, that's kind of how you can judge where it is. And after visiting it a few times the location becomes muscle memory to you but just in case it's not here is the location on the map. And before dropping down the center shaft, be sure to refill your ammo and purchase whatever gear you may need at the vendors just to the left of it. Then when you're ready, drop down and you'll be tasked to take out the Harker himself, which is just a COV dude riding on a war dog. The Harker himself isn't too hard to take out so long as you use the pillars around the room for cover and make sure to dodge whenever the dog jumps at you. I'd also recommend keeping the adds around you alive but on low health in order to grab second wins should you need them. 
them. Once the Harker is dead, you'll be free to leave, but not before passing one last extraction machine, but this one, however, will have five slots inside of it for you to utilize. But congratulations, because you, my friend, have hopefully just beaten your very first arms race in Borderlands 3. I hope this guide helped you guys out. If it did, then be sure to leave a like on the video. And with that being said, have a nice day.